Hi guys, this is F and Jew from Team TouchDroid showing off the dual boot configuration with Android 2.3.5. As you can see, this is a 32 gig touchpad by HP. The system is running the latest update for WebOS. This is the touchpad. This is not a video that I'm playing. As you can see, I'm opening multiple different windows here once they open. Okay, let's get started. First I'm going to reboot the system into the booty bootloader. As you can see now the system is booting back up into booty. There's the booty screen as you've seen in the original video. Obviously this one is a lot better quality so hopefully this will be a lot easier to watch and a lot less of a headache. Let me just turn the light on. There we go. That should help a little bit. Well, you know what, let's leave it off. All right, now I'm gonna send the command to the system to actually boot into Android. Now this will require that I hold the volume up key, which is right here, just like before. I'm gonna send that command now. Okay, now I'm gonna spam the up key. As before, you see the same thing with our HCP's video, okay. Now that you see the purple line, you can stop spamming the up key. Now we just have to wait for Android to boot. There's the boot screen. And there's 2.3.5. Now as stated before, touchscreen does not work. Let me just pull it up here so you can see a little bit easier. Touchscreen does not work, which is something we are working on currently and should hopefully have a fix here shortly. Now I'm gonna show the second part about this is the boot into WebOS, which is the dual boot configuration. I'm holding the power button and the, and the home button on the system. And then I am rebooting with power and volume to boot it back up into booty. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna submit the command again. And this time I'm not gonna do anything, it's gonna boot into WebOS. Command has been submitted. Now we just wait for the system to boot, which normally this boot process is about about a minute because it is updating everything with, with its sync and with the, the cloud itself. So it should be booting here shortly. And there's the, the genuine flashy HP logo, which means the system should be booting here up momentarily. And there we go. 